glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, my sisters and brothers in Christ. I hope all is well with you and the Lord. So people of God, I am on my lunch break. I just came from out of the post office and there is something that has been pressing my spirit. This is a word for someone. God told me to get on here and talk to the person that is trying to push something into existence. You're trying to make something happen. Even though Holy Spirit has told you that that is not it, you want to say something in relation to a situation that has nothing to do with you. You, you, you want to make something right uh, concerning a circumstance that God has closed the door on. You're trying to manipulate something in a way into existence. You're trying to make something work that God did not ordain for you. And God is saying, don't do it. There is someone that is contemplating something, even though you know that you you can't, even though you know it's wrong. Even though you know that God has closed the door time and time and time and time again, but you still continue to try to push it. You're trying to make it work in your favor. You're trying to shape it in a way that it is acceptable to the people that are around you. You're trying to shape it in a way that is acceptable to God. But God is saying that this thing that you're trying to push into existence, you're trying to make it work. You're trying to go around the detours and, 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 and the traps and the obstacles that he himself has placed there to keep you from moving in it. God is saying, don't do it because it's going to cost you. God is saying it's going to cost you. God is saying that he loves you, child, and he does not want you to get into something that does not you, 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 you're not ready. It's not for you right now. You're not going to be able to handle the burden of it. You're not going to be able to handle the cost of it. You're not going to be able to deal with the daily um, interference of your life. With whatever this thing is that you're trying to push, God is saying, don't do it. It's going to cost you. God is saying that he has a little bit more shaping and molding in you and that you know that and that he has told you that because every single time you've tried to push it, Every single time that you've tried to say it, you've tried to write it, you've tried to move forward in it, you have faced opposition. And it's not the enemy in this, but it is God that is holding his hand. He is creating the barrier, the boundary in between that thing that you're trying to get to, that thing that you're trying to say, you're trying to move into that is going to cost you, hallelujah, if you move into it too soon, okay? God is saying, be patient. Give him some more time. In due season, he will give it to you. But God is saying that you will not force his hand if you're not ready. You will not force his hand if it's not for you. You will not force his hand because you're not seeing it in its entirety. God is saying that he sees before you. And God is saying that this thing that you're trying to push into existence, you're trying to make it happen. You're trying to force it. Hallelujah. God is saying that it is will cost you. Hallelujah. It will cost you. So don't do it. There is someone that is contemplating on making a move, a decision about something right now. And you know that Holy Spirit told you no. You know that there's been a hesitation in your spirit. You know that something is not going, is not quite right. Things are not in the places where they need to be, there is a, there's some contingencies in what you're trying to do, but because you want to do it so badly, because it looks so good, because you can only see the other side, God is saying that you're trying to force it. You're trying to push it. You're trying to manipulate it. You're trying to go around everything that God has already shown you. And God is saying that if you keep pushing, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you, child of God. So listen to the father, okay? He knows what's best for you. Wait for his timing. He will give you the end. He will show you the result if you would just simply wait, okay, on God's perfect timing. Don't do it because if you do, it's going to cost you, all right? So I love you guys. I want you to be blessed. Remember, I'm here on purpose. You're here on purpose. We are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I love you guys. Bye.